Hello friends, I am Vinay Mote, nature and wildlife photographer and today I will talk about shutter speed and how it affects your photograph. We will also talk about what's the minimum shutter speed required in order to avoid blurry photos. So shutter speed is nothing but the duration for which shutter is open. It's a slice of time for which camera opens the shutters, captures the light or captures the scene which is nothing but the light in front of it and then records it on a sensor. So just to demonstrate, I think we will take an example here. So imagine this is your canvas, which is kind of a sensor and you want to basically paint on this canvas. So you take a brush, take a color and starts painting from top to let's say draw S here. So S gonna be like this, so draw S. So to draw S for the, from start to end, it takes me a little longer, maybe around three seconds. So start S and end S. But if I want to draw a dot only, it just takes, you know, fraction of second. The same happens in camera. If you want to capture a movement happening in front of you, you open the shutter for the longer period and it will capture all the movements from start to end. So you keep the shutter open for a long time. If you want to capture only fraction of second, then you just open the shutter for small duration and it just captures the kind of a dot or just a fraction of second. We'll, we'll take example of this tennis ball and I'm gonna drop the tennis ball from top to bottom and we'll try to capture one photograph with the fast shutter speed and one photograph with the slow shutter speed. Here in the first image, as you can see, we have used the fast shutter speed here. So while the ball is traveling, the camera opens the shutters and closes it very fast. So you can see the ball is almost stationary here and we don't see any tail or we don't see any much movement. There is a slight movement, um, but that is because uh, I can't use really fast shutter speed because of the less light available. Now in second photograph, as you can see where I'm using very slow shutter speed and you can see the ball tail here. The camera has started capturing when the ball is at somewhere in middle at top point and it's still capturing until the ball reaches till second point. That's why you can see all the movement of the ball in a straight line. Camera basically trying to capture whatever in front of it, depending on the duration that you set. So if you set the camera for short duration, then it can capture a moment in a time very fast. However, the effect is you get very less light in. In the reverse, if you open the shutters for long period of time, it captures all the movement, it overlaps on each other. So it basically captures more and more light. Okay, so in short to recap, if shutter speed is fast, your camera captures less light and captures fraction of the moment. If you set the camera shutter speed to very slow or long duration, then camera captures more light it captures all the movement in front of it overlapping on each other. Now, now let's talk about movement. So movement can be of your subject where subject is moving in any direction and another movement can be your camera because of your moving body or you are in a car or you are in a train or bus somewhere or you are just ha having shaky hands. Uh, so that's the all both are moving. So how do we avoid the blurry photos and take you another know, tax sharp images? So first to have your shutter speed fast enough so that it can capture the photos fast enough. So how fast do you need? So it's very simple. If you are using a lens with the fixed focal length, let's say 50 mm, then you just divide one by 50 is gonna be your shutter speed. If you are using variable focal length like I'm using here, which is 16 to 35 mm lens. So you can see here is a line where it points to the number. So let's say if I move it and it's showing me around now 24. So my lens is set at 24 mm. So my shutter speed, minimum shutter speed to avoid blurry photos is gonna be one divided by 24. So this is a rule of thumb. However, with the image stabilizer, you can still get away with little bit uh, low shutter speed as well. That was easy with wide angle lens. But if you got zoom lens, like I got this one, 100 to 400. So when I'm in a field, I don't know what, what MM I'm gonna shoot. 
if the bird or if the animal is far i might go at 400 mm if it's too close i might go at 100 mm so in this scenario basically what i would do i would set my shutter speed to minimum of 1 divided by 400 so 400 mm is a max length or max focal length i can get i will set my shutter speed to 1 divided by 400 and then I don't have to worry about getting the blurry images. And that's all about shutter speed. I hope you understood the concept. And if you like this video, you can subscribe here or you can register on my website vinemote.com. Thanks for watching.